hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today on howie cooking time i'll be sharing with you my escovish fish recipe so this recipe is very easy to follow so let's get straight into the video okay guys so the first thing i will do is to make my dressing so these are all the ingredients that I will use to make my escovige dressing. So I have my onion, bell pepper, scotch bonnet peppers, my pimento berries. I also have my carrots, my sugar, and my white vinegar. So guys, all my vegetables have been washed. So right now, I will cut my bell pepper, right? So we're going to cut about a quarter of the bell pepper, not too much. Then we're going to cut it in strips. So you want to cut it in julienne strips. So basically you are making some thin long strips. So guys, so once you have finished cutting your bell peppers, you should have something like this. So now we're going to move on to our carrots. So going to cut the carrots in half, then going to cut that half into quarter and then the quarter into another thin sheet. In all, I have eight pieces of carrots. Then we're going to make the same thin strips, right? So this is very simple and really easy to follow. So guys, we are finished with our carrots. So this is how it looks. Now moving on to our scotch bonnet peppers. So guys, for the scotch bonnet peppers, please adjust the pepper according to your tolerance. So if you don't want too much pepper in your dressing, then you don't have to use three. You can even use one. So guys, now I am finished with the pepper. So now moving on to the onion. So going to cut the onion in rings, about quarter to half inch thick. Then you're going to separate the rings. So this is it. So this is everything guys. Now moving on to the final step to make our escovish dressing. So I have my pot on the stove over medium heat. So first going in with my vinegar, then going in with one tablespoon of sugar. So basically the sugar helps with the tanginess of the vinegar. Just giving it a quick mix. Then we are going to add our scotch bonnet peppers. So guys, you want to be careful right here because the scotch bonnet pepper is playing no joke. They want to ensure that you open your windows. So the next thing I will add is my carrots. So because the carrots takes a longer time to cook, we are going to add them now. And then we're going to allow them to soften for 30 to 50 seconds. So now going in with my onions. Then I will add my pimento berries just to add some more flavor to the pickle. After that, I will add my bell peppers. So now going to give it a toss and combine everything together. So guys, we don't want to overcook this because we want them to be crunchy. So we are going to let this simmer for about a minute. Then we are going to turn off our stove. 
so guys this is how our pickle is looking after a minute so now we're going to allow this to sit so we can move on to our fish so guys in my bowl i have three and a half pounds of fish so you can use any type of fish you like so i have already washed and cleaned them with lime and vinegar and i made two slits on each side so guys for me when i'm frying fish i generally soak them in salt water so what i'm doing now is adding some salt pouring some water on top of the fish just to immerse them then we're going to allow this to soak for about a minute so the reason for doing this i find that the fish absorb the season a lot better so guys to fry my fish i have my oil i have my scotch bonnet pepper my garlic in my bowl i have two tablespoons of maggi all-purpose seasoning and one tablespoon of black pepper so guys you don't want to over season our fish because fish has its natural flavoring already so this is perfectly fine but if you have any other seasoning that you want to use then you can go ahead so this is nicely combined so guys we're moving on to our fish so i have removed them from the salt water pat dry my fish so i ensure that no moisture is, is there as you can see our tray is nicely dry so we are going to season our fish so first seasoning the fish from the inside so seasoning inside out so you want to use a generous amount and just rub that all in there get that fish nicely seasoned so you want to be careful when you're seasoning your fish because fish has bones so you want to ensure that you are extra careful seasoning your fish So there you have it guys, our fish are nicely seasoned. So now let's fry our fish. So guys, the clip when I was frying the fish, I cannot find that. So I only have this clip right here of when I was frying another batch of the fish. So basically you want to ensure that you add your oil to the pot allow it to heat up for about five minutes then you're going to add your garlic your scotch bonnet pepper so these will give the oil some flavor so you want to ensure that the oil is hot to prevent the fish from sticking to the pot so once the oil is hot then you will add your fish so you will fry the fish for about three to four minutes on each side or until it's nicely crispy so once that is done then you remove your fish and set it to drain the excess oil from the fish so as you can see guys these fish are nicely fried they are looking good so now we're going to plate our fish right so guys i make a bed with the pickle to lay the fish on top then we're going to cover the fish with some more pickles so all that goodness going on top of this fish so just like this guys look at it it is looking so delicious already so we're going to put as much as we want on top just like this then you're going to pour some of that vinegar on top and let that soak through your fish so this is beautiful already So guys, there you have it. Our Escovish fish is nicely done. It is all ready. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe if you haven't done that already. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And until I see you next time, bye guys.